Possible changes to a local school's property has people who live in the area frustrated. The Episcopal School of Jacksonville wants to build a new guardhouse at the school's main entrance as part of a $17 million capital improvement project. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning explains why neighbors are pushing back. David Peterson has lived by Episcopal School of Jacksonville for more than three decades, but now he and other neighbors who live along St. Elmo Drive are concerned with upgrades the school wants to make to its entrance. Changes neighbors say will make an already bad traffic situation even worse. This is what it looked like outside the school during an event this morning. Peterson says it's a different story during the week. There's a morning and afternoon rush hour, which is literally a rush hour. Uh, you, you basically get a string of cars in in the morning, a string of cars coming uh, in the afternoon. The school hopes to add an extra layer of security and safety to its entrance with a new guardhouse. Neighbors say the change would move their public road onto the school's private property. The simple solution is leave St. Elmo Drive alone. Don't change it. Build a security uh, shack. We're all about safety and security of our schools. But don't do it on a public right of way. In a statement, the head of school, Reverend Adam Green, wrote, This upgrade will have no impact on the number of vehicles entering or leaving the campus. He went on saying, most importantly, according to the survey on file with the city of Jacksonville, the security house is located on school property. Neighbors say what the school claims it owns and what the markings show on the renderings don't seem to add up. But this is still a city right of way. End of right away, right there. Right there. And they're saying they own this. Yes. 